Hi guys, welcome back to DAT. In this video, we are taking a look at the Beta FPV Light Radio 2. This is the SE version, and it is FR Sky. Stay there. So here she is guys, here's the brand new or the newest Beta FPV Light Radio 2 SE version from Beta FPV. This is their, um, here's their original one. So it looks absolutely identical. And the main difference is, is that this new one, the new SE version is actually not operating OpenTX. The original was open, operating some form of it. It's a very complicated form because you couldn't actually get in and adjust it easily at all because it's all closed off. There's no buttons to do trims or anything like that. And the new one, they've developed their own little bit of software. So you are now able to actually calibrate the sticks and you're able to do firmware updates. So they can offer firmware updates and support the device that way. So that's quite a nice little feature. Also, the original one was um, using a built-in, well, a separate battery, a 300 uh, milliamp hour battery in the back there. And the brand new one is actually got a built-in 1000 milliamp hour battery, which will last up to about eight hours, they've said. An original only lasted up to about three hours. So it was quite a big difference. And uh, what else is there? There's a couple of other things. There's also a brand new protocol on there. They've got, this is the FR Sky version and they've got their standard D8 mode and the two D16 modes. One D16 mode covers Europe and the other D16 covers the rest of the world. That are the, that's the differences with those. But they've also added a Futaba on there as well. So they've got four protocols going on this at the moment. And we'll go through those right now. So let's go through how you actually operate this. Make sure your throttle is actually all the way down. If your throttle is up slightly, you would get a warning. I will show you that now. So press and start up. Stays red, and that's because the throttle is up. So always make sure the throttle is down and it will go blue, ready to use. There we go, shut down. And just to go over these protocols, let's find out what protocol it is in. I'll zoom in a little bit, make it easier. So you can see. So if you press and start this up now, there was one red flash at the beginning there, and that one red flash indicates what protocol you're in. That one red flash means you're in a D16 FCC mode. And FCC mode is basically for America, Asia, and that side of the world. There, they've got the second D16 protocol on here, and that is for Europe. So shut it down. Shut down. Now what you have to do, there's a bind button on the back here. Let me get a better pointer. Bind button on the back here. You have to press and hold that in. But you don't have to, it's slightly different to the original. The original one you had to start up and shut down, start up, shut down. You hold that in, press that, one, two, so that has changed protocols. That is in two flashes now. So if you start it up, press and hold. There's two red flashes then. Press and hold, sorry, until it starts up. Two red flashes means it is in D16 LBT, which is the Europe mode. So shut it down again. Press and hold the back. Press and hold, free, release. There was three flashes then. You don't actually have to power it up to change it now. So that was three flashes. The three flashes indicates it is in D8 mode and D8 mode is basically the one that you use for all your tiny hawks and stuff like that. So the fourth protocol, press and hold, press the button, one, two, three, four. That is the new Futaba. And the Futaba protocol that's on there is called uh, Futaba SFHSS. So there, those are the four protocols. So this new SE version of their controller has a um, calibration in for the sticks. So now and again, your sticks might be slightly out of whack and you need to calibrate them just to get them into center so they stay nice and solid. So let's start this up and go for this procedure of how we actually do this. Power on the controller. And there is a setup button on the back. Press this. 
controller is now beeping, and what you have to do is you have to center your sticks, get your sticks into the center position, press the button again on the back, and there are three beeps. And rotate on the beeps. And that is it. Center the sticks again. Do it twice. Center the sticks. Press the button again. And you get the long beep. And that confirms that it is done. And that will calibrate the sticks. So the binary procedure for this controller is pretty much the same as their last one. Power it on. Obviously make sure you're in the correct protocol. If you're binding something like the Tiny Hawk Freestyle or the other Tiny Hawks that Emacs do, you need this in D8 mode. And D8 mode is three flashes on this. That is FR Sky D8. And this is actually in that mode. And the bind button is basically on the back. What I would do is get your Hawk or your little quad in its bind actual procedure so it's set, ready to go before you actually press the controller. Press the bind button on the back. and it starts to flash. But it will only flash for so long, and then it goes back to normal. So if you fail to bind, just repeat that process until you've got a bind on your quad. There you go, guys. That was a little setup and instruction guide to the Beta FPV Light Radio 2 SE version. Hope that helps you out. Uh, there's plenty of other videos that I've done on stick calibration and stuff if you're struggling to actually get your quad going. If you need any other advice or help, I am always here as well. So do hit a comment down below and I will get back to all of you as soon as I can. Also, smash that thumbs up because it really does help. And if you can, hit that subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. That's it. See you again. Things are hard to see when you pray.